Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be seeing installing SFR module in the ASA 5506X. So for this installation, we require the topology like the like this. So here we have two. Uh, we have connected two interfaces from ASA 5506 to our LAN. One interface is gigabit one by one interface, uh, which is assigned with an IP address 1.1 and another one is management so in this scenario the management interface is used for dedicatedly for sfr only uh, so we need to ensure that this particular interface given the no shutdown command in the asa so that we can have the communication with the sfr module uh, please ensure that all of the uh, device connected in the same same lan or same vlan so that they all have the communication with one another so now let's jump into the configuration The very first step in the configuration of, the, of this uh, module installation is to copy the firmware version. So for doing the same, we are using a TFTP server. Uh, in, in, in this scenario, I am using SolarWinds TFTP server for copying this file. Something's gonna bring the change Journeys we are meant to take Something at the edge of space Calling us to fly away So here while I'm trying to copy the file into ASA ASA is trying to access my PC, I mean the TFTP server within my PC but uh, by default, I mean in my PC, my Windows firewall was turned on so uh, that's the reason ASA is unable to communicate with my TFTP server as it is an external connection so here I am manually adding an inbound connection in my Windows firewall so that the uh, ASA firewall can access my uh, TFTP server Otherwise, uh, just to uh, avoid this hassle, simply you can turn off completely the Windows Firewall in this activity so that you can get the access. So now we are trying to uh, get the firmware. Now we have ensured the two commands which are related to SFR. We have configured the SFR image as a recovery image for our ASA and uh, we have booted with the same. So now we are into now we have entered into the recovery mode. So this process could take some more time. So that's the reason you can enable debug. Uh, uh, de uh, debug uh, module boot so that you can see the clear process what's going on in the uh, backend. So this will take so much time. Don't panic. Just stay with the screen. This 
something at the edge of space Calling us to fly away So the actual process will look like this like uh, uh, First we will go to the recovery mode Then we will install the uh, actual package file for the same firmware of the SFR then uh, after for, after the package installation is completed, then the SFR module will uh, automatically gets rebooted. Uh, this reboot time will take up to two two hours to two and a half hours. So in my case, it's a two and a half hours. Uh, so wait so long time. So you don't need to panic or worry regarding this. It will get automatically restarted. SFR module. So this communication is happening through the management portal. Now the main task is to uh, install the package. So for installing the package, we are doing it within the SFR module only. So it's not like the uh, Cisco IOS that we see in the ASCR routers. So to do that, we have only three options. One is HTTP and HTTPS, and the last one is FTP. So as for uh, copying through HTTP and HTTPS, we need a web server as uh, I have not uh, configured any web server available, I am using FileZilla server as my FTP server. So here I am just uh, you, uh, configuring one user uh, with a default uh, username and password that is admin and admin. And so it's a for me now, uh, where we have uh, configured the setup. So actually I have uh, 
missed that uh, step so that's the reason i am uh, showing it to you here so in the screen you can see where i have used that command my recording was missed during that uh, issuing issuance of that command so after issuing that command uh, that's it the process will be automatic and uh, the package will be automatically get extracted it will be installed and the sfr will be automatically get rebooted uh, there is no any inter uh, intervention of a uh, user is needed so just we need to wait till 2 hours or 2 and a half hours as per the system resources available just wait and see uh, uh, you can use this uh, debug module boot option uh, to see the status of the mo uh, uh, module booting so that is it uh, this is the end of the step after uh, this successfully completed then you will see the uh, sfr was booted successfully and this time all the configuration that we have done previously like assigning the ip address of the gateway will be erased as we have done that in the recovery mode so now we have to reconfigure the sfr so that it will be a permanent configuration that will be stored in the sfr module itself once once booted uh, the sfr will not take this much time to uh, boot uh, for the, from the second time onwards Don't you be afraid, everything will change